Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital. Uh, we've just come to the realization that stretches is a big deal. And if we don't have enough, we keep having issues with everything. So I'm quickly going to go around all the departments just to check how many stretches we have. We've got three stretches over here, but potentially is three stretches enough? We will get three nurses. In the day we've got six potentially a extra few extra stretches is, is not is not a bad idea so grab me a stretcher and I'm almost tempted to place um, a couple of stretches in the hall Yeah, we need to be a little better with with our stretcher management. That is what I think. So let's uh, let's add an extra stretcher over there. Let's have a look over here. How many stretches do we have? Did we have we had like one in there? We've got a few stretches around. So what I'll do is I will actually squeeze in one extra stretcher over there. In the ICU department, we have one stretcher. But what I'm thinking is we. We squeeze another somewhere. Hmm. We don't really have the. Uh, could add an extra stretcher like that. So let's add one more there. The emergency department we've pretty put pretty much stretches everywhere, right? So let's add one more there over there as well. An extra stretcher is not going to be too bad for us. <clears throat> over here. got stretches on all of these rooms so I think cardiology isn't too bad what I'll do is I'll add one more there um, up here I'll put one more there as well just so we have a little bit more and then over here I'm gonna grab one more over there as well um so we've had added a few more stretches pretty much everywhere now the key thing is in the next six or so minutes or is that six hours is that what it is yeah, it's six hours in game time. See if we can sort out some more people. Angi angiography is uh, is pretty busy. Let's have a quick look. See if we come to the emergency department. I've added one more doctor, but let's add one more at least. Um, this one over there, and see what whether she can help us out a little. We're waiting for people to come in. Can we please resolve a few more issues? Okay, so what's wrong? Okay, I'll pause. Let's have a quick look. What's What, what does this mean? Um, it's the emergency call. So what are we saying? Jessica White. Jessica White. Can I please understand where you are? You're at orthopedics. And so what is your situation like at orthopedics? You are waiting for an arm cast so why are we not giving you an arm cast doctor please give her an arm cast okay let's see if the doctors can actually do their thing over there so jessica white susan the right we haven't made the diagnosis yet you're in the emergency department still awaiting your x-ray so that is okay with Broken ribs, chest contusion is going numbing ointment. So we could, we could sort you out pretty quickly. Okay, and Linda Miller, Linda Miller, you have a wrong diagnosis. ACL, thank you. You need um, need that, please. So, ooh, so you need to be transferred to the. Or you're already at orthopedics. Okay, so hopefully. I'm honestly hoping we can get a few more things done. Oh, Linda Miller has been sorted out. Jessica White. Are you being treated? Yes, no, maybe. Can I, oh, you're still over here. Why have you not been transferred? Oh. 
Oh, waiting for a bed? HDU. Oof. That's an issue. Okay, that's the issue over here. That's going to be the issue. Um, well, let's move the couch out of the way just a tad and let's see if we can sort out um, this issue. If we do that, yeah, it's fine. We can move that poster, no problem. If we get the life monitor up there, or well, we could have moved that from somewhere else actually. So can we see her be moved here quickly? Forget about these new patients. I just want to get these patients done. We're really struggling. Come on. Bring her in. Doctors, come over here. Treat her quickly. Uh, so that's okay. She's been treated. What is the last one that I'm after? Broken ribs? Susan the right. No, Susan the right. Thank you. Broken ribs. HDU hospitalization again over here. My goodness. That's going to be an issue for us. Okay. So if we could... Let's move the couch. Couch out into the hall there. Um... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these doors. Yeah, so let's get rid of these doors for now. Um, let's get rid of the TV. Okay, and we'll add one more bed over here so that we can at least get everybody treated. Um, and I'm going to grab a HDU bed from somewhere else, right? Yeah, perfect. So we'll grab an HDU bed like so. We'll grab that. And we'll grab this one. Perfect. So now I am absolutely hoping we can get her here. ASAP. Chest extra has been done. So what do you need to do? Cons compression wrap. So let's get the compression wraps to get going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Last hour. Can we please get you here? We've got stretches. Here you come. Excellent. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. We did it. You were able to complete the event in time. You gained prestige boost for the day and a money reward. Congratulations. Successful events in a row won. Okay. So now we've got a very firm understanding of what this, these events actually mean. What these events actually mean for us. So I think we need to just get ourselves a little bit better prepared for that if we are to, uh, to do an, another one of those. Um, stretches is an issue, beds are an issue, the HDU hospitalization piece is certainly a bit of a problematic one. We need to, we need to solve that. So maybe if we take out these doors and have them run around that way, it's probably better so we can squeeze in some more there. I think that is going to be a better one. We can do the same thing over here. Now, all of those beds are still well used at the moment. Could we get up to 80 patients a day? I think we can now go for that. We need 10 patients through neurology as well. We need 80% prestige in cardiology. So there's a few things we are going for at the moment. I think the addition of a lot of new stretchers is going to be quite helpful for us. Got a ton of cash just come in. Lots of people. Wow, there was a lot of stuff happening and I completely ignored it. Got a pretty decent emergency department up and running at the moment. We can squeeze in some more stuff over here as well. Patient is collapsing. Typhus fever. Uh, you could actually go home. No, you... Well, why are you collapsing, by the way? Don't quite get it. We know exactly what's going on there. More cash coming in. Let's uh, drop another 20k there. So we pay less in that. Okay. 10 patients at neurology is something that we're going to go up against at the moment. Patient is collapsing. I'm hoping we can sort that out. What are you waiting for? 
biopsy. So we know what's wrong with you, right? So don't know why you're actually still waiting for that. Can we finish that off at least. Okay, let's quickly go through. If we have a quick look here, what's our workload like? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. So don't, none of those are problematic workloads. Uh, no problems in workloads here. No problems over here. Um, and over here. This is pretty busy, but I don't think we need another one. I think we're dealing with that pretty well. Mm. Okay. No, it's looking pretty good, to be honest. I don't think we need any additional kind of clinic doctors. Uh, but I want to keep an eye on neurology, though. I want to keep an eye on what's happening. There's a lot of patients waiting, actually. Getting yourself sorted out. Patient is collapsing. Please sort that out as well. Excellent. We're going pretty quickly through these patients now. They're all being hospitalized. One after the other. Whether they're considering considered being treated, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we need more. No one waiting at the end of this day. So now there's a few people. Coming in, getting a little few things done. Next one, straight away for observation. Good stuff. I think I think it's actually working. What are you waiting for? Waiting for what exactly? Um, neuro exam. Okay. Excellent, 10 treated, and there's a lot more money coming in that way. Let's drop two more of that. Oh, even, even another one. And even another. We're doing really well with the cash flows now. 80%, uh, I think 80% is going to be fairly easy to achieve. 80% uh, in cardiology as well. How are we doing? Is that a pretty decent and working environment? I hope so. A lot of HDU people here, aren't they? Patient is collapsing. Hopefully we can deal with that pretty quickly. Excellent. So how's our... Um, let's just have a quick look here. So intensive care unit is pretty bad. And the radiology is a little bit bad. But the rest are all like right up there. Right up there, really. So if I look at this... Today we're at 102%, right? Right. So the insurance payments are pretty high. Let's quickly open up the insurance one and we'll just see what's going on. So we, yeah, we've got the last few pieces that, we, that we're needing to do here. Nine, number nine of nine of these two. Wow, look at this. They're really paying quite well. They are really paying quite well. Patient is collapsing, fainting. There's some extra symptoms that we please need to check. Um, we shouldn't have any problems. There should be more than enough space in the trauma care center over here. I think that's, uh, we can now actually sort out our last payment. So now we're, we're doing pretty well. We're making a ton of cash. And what I quickly want to do here is go for the flooring piece. <clears throat> and I want to... Uh, I want to do this kind of thing over here. Actually, maybe what I should do is put the grass back uh, over there and do this kind of thing. What I'll do is I'll just do that entire section there so it looks a little bit more decent. Is there anything we can do outside here that, um, that looks pretty good? Um, anything external? It's probably... These are the external pieces, ob outdoor objects. So that's in place. Is there anything else we can put in here that will make it look a little bit better? Outdoor benches, maybe. One, two, 
three. Maybe we don't squeeze them as closely together. We'll do something like that. And then what I'm keen on doing is maybe do some flower pots. Is there anything else we should put in here? Hospital sign. Uh, do, 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 do. We're making the area look a little bit nicer at least. Um, I don't think the uh, outside trash bin. That's good. We'll have that one there. That's pretty good. Glass fencing and things like that. I don't think we need a rope fence. I don't think we need that either. Yeah, it's, that just looks a little bit nicer out here now. So that's you, right? There's a lot of stuff happening. So we should be able to sort out your extra symptoms. Somehow. Should we do a chest x-ray? I don't think so. I don't think that's going to really help you. Patient's level of hearing. Is there a hearing issue with any of these things? I don't know. I don't know. Speech listening. Nothing funny. So there's a few tests underway at the moment. Hopefully we can sort that out. Yeah, the TC center is pretty good. We can take like nine trauma cases at once. We don't have all those doctors available, but there could be beds being used at all the times and things like that. We're making good money still. Um, let's go back up to orthopedics. I want to see if we can put some of these doors back. A monitor patient is collapsing again into a coma now. And we're still looking for stuff to be done here. I'm thinking differential diagnosis as well. Get that done. Life support. Monitored patient is collapsing. You've got a hidden symptom as well that we need to sort out. But you've still got some tests underway. So we need to be quicker with some of these things. Another monitored patient is collapsing. So many of these collapsing things going on over here. Oh, we lost a little bit of money now. Why? What's happened with our budget? Why did our budget suddenly drop so much? I'm not clear on why that happened. Long wait for ECG. Well, in the evenings there isn't... Well, there are ECGs available in the evenings as well. Long wait for ECG. Why? Are you stuck doing something? What are you doing? You're performing a procedure. Oh, so you're just working. It takes a little bit of time to work, work through it, is it? Let's have a quick look. Can we see if we go to this? Do we have a, a queue, of, queue of stuff or something? No, not quite, actually. Patient died. Yeah, septic shock. There was some kind of symptom there that we didn't quite get to. We need to be better at that kind of thing. So it seems like you need to build up a bit of a record with these uh, with these events. All right, so we can do another crash during the evening or during the day. And then there's some other events we can start looking, having a look at. But see, you need to build a bit of a track record and say, actually, I'll, I'll keep doing events. And do them one after the other. Okay, 80% at neurology. So cardiology is still a bit of a problem, but we've reached the 80% at neurology at least. I think we've got very few uh, staff left. Monitored patient is collapsing. Abdominal issues, coma, that is the one, right? We've got these things that needs to happen. How are we dealing with this life support for the coma then? There's a hidden symptom. How am I going to get it? Shall we just do whatever we can do at the moment? Can you please do it? Oh, barium swallow is underway. Patient is collapsing. Yet another one. We've got all of these things though. You just need to... What do you need? Okay, well, can that be anywhere? 
any office ward does it need to be the cardiology department can we sort you out defibrillation is underway swollen can we please get you to yeah please 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 provide these steroids yes there we go should solve you there perfect if we drop down here we've got this new patient that's just come in gallbladder rupture that's not fun where's the doctor oh already went to oh abdominal surgery straight away that's pretty good oh, i hate it when some of this stuff happens should we slow things down a little bit i'm wondering What's happening with you? Some plenty of hidden symptoms that we need to uh, get. Uh, CO2 poisoning or CO poisoning, that's fine. We're sorting you through this pretty quickly. The emergency departments are doing pretty well. There's a lot of stuff happening through emergency department here. Let's quickly have a look at um, how many staff do we have working here? Could we, is there any way we could add some more? Not sure. Another ambulance. What's this? A traumatic cardiac arrest going on over here. Four hidden symptoms still. Straight to cardiology. Can we please make sure that some of this stuff is actually checked? Can we please do some of these things? Come on, guys. Heart monitor, physical examination. Let's do all of that, please. While this patient is being treated, let's make sure to find those symptoms. Aha! Oh, no, no. That's not... We didn't find anything. It's just respiratory failure. So, there's some things that we're missing, of course, here. See, we shouldn't... I think I think in some departments... I'm just worried that we, we, we're getting to some of these things way too quickly. We're getting to the diagnosis a little bit too quickly and then patients start dying. So if I quickly have a look here, right, let's see. Um, departments, right? Emergency department, I feel, needs to be a little bit more certain because through the emergency department, there's a lot of these people that gets a lot of... A lot of uh, a lot of stuff so the emergency department let's start by getting the emergency department to be to get a high level of certainty with regards to their diagnosis there's still some symptoms over here so can you please sort yourself out there and we definitely need some more people to be cleaning up this department a little bit patient is collapsing it's you right Respiratory failure, and you, you were incorrectly diagnosed as well. Oh, patient died. I need this department to be a little bit more careful with what we're getting done here. We've got enough trauma care centers. Can you please, or trauma care things here. Can you please make sure to do some of these things. So how do we check for this blood transfusion? Um, so that's a blood test. So blood draw is underway. What is this one going to say? Collapsed lung, also called Numerax. Air escapes from the lungs, filling space between the lung and the chest wall, preventing expansion of the affected lung. Uh, well, let's go for the chest x-ray then and see what we can find out from that. Blood draw is underway. Let's get the chest x-ray to be done as well. There you go. So with you going for x-ray, patient is collapsing. Another one. What are we seeing? Chest x-ray. Aha, collapsed lung. Perfect. Found it. However, there's still a hidden symptom that's causing us a little bit of issues here. Pulmonary surgery. Mm -hmm. 
So what are you doing? I urgent echo. Aha! We found it. The urgent echo found that elevated heart rate is common. Anti arrhythmics and then the surgery. Perfect. Now, with that in in place. Oh my goodness, can you please sort that out? ICU hospitalization. Okay, with that one moving over to ICU. Okay, but we are indeed aware of what is going on over here. So how do we solve this? We need surgery. This one anti... So we this one is should be... We're not actually providing that just yet. Artificial ventilation. Oh, the surgery is underway. Oh, good stuff. Where, where are you? Can we see? So you're going straight for surgery. Where? Which department? Is this any department? This is internal medicine doing this. Ah, okay. So it's for surgery at the internal medicine department. So let's get that sorted out pretty quickly. Where's my doctors? Come on, doctors. Oh, I think we're being a little bit more effective. Stretches is a big problem here. Huh? The, the fact that we've got the extra stretches in place is, is, is helping us a lot. Now, this. How do we deal with that piece? Um, okay, nervous systems fight or fl a flight or fight response and occurs various diseases or when other one is exposed to danger. So maybe, yeah, just the, just that should sort it out. Where's the ICU nurse? Come on. Here it comes. ICU nurse. Back to ICU where I'm hoping they will actually get you on these things so that we can sort you out a little quicker. Palpitations. Come on, guys. We need you to get cracking on these on these things okay how did you deal with that ECG IV infusion ah excellent so now we've putting these things on there so now we should be able to resolve that perfect resting and B complex supplement I'm not sure that is a requirement at the moment Wow what a what an interesting one um, so we're starting to get our efficiency up a little bit we really need this place to be clean better. Really, we need it. Um, can I? If I... I get rid of that one, right? And I go back over here and we place... one more shelf in here at least okay one more shelf and we'll appoint another one for the night and one for the day one for the night and we'll place another one in here for the day as well yeah you're pretty efficient so hopefully we've got plenty of extra janitors now that can solve out solve that area but yeah we need to worry a little bit about our staff numbers Excellent. So what's happening over here? We still don't know what's wrong with you. And there's some hidden symptoms and there's a lot of tests currently happening. Okay, that's pretty good. I want to make sure that everything is, seems to be good and up and running before we run straight into our next emergency. I'm kind of keen on looking at some of the others. Um, but the crash is a um, long wait for CT. Yeah, well, there's someone busy getting a CT done. Can't get you to do multiple CTs at the same time, can we? Okay. Yes, so that's been a, quite an exciting episode. And I think we're slowly getting things done a little bit better. We still need to get the 80% prestige up and running. Employee got drunk too. But we don't have the 80% prestige at cardiology just yet. Cardiology is causing us a little bit of a problem. Let's have a quick look at what's going on at cardiology. 
So the cardiology unit is just under, and the reasons for that is not clear to me. Okay, let's go here, cardiology. Oh, no, no, cardiology. Can we get an idea? No, we cannot. So how did we, I can't remember how we last time looked at this. Yeah, so we have no idea. So, ooh, hang on, now that's just everything. So let's, um, let's go back to this. Let's have a look at the staff. Staff is pretty unhappy due to why? Nice environment, unattended. What does unattended mean? Does that mean we have, I don't know what does unattended mean? Unattended, and these doctors? Oh, it means we don't have any patients. Is that what it is? We mean It means we've got more staff than we have patients. That's why. Oh, so maybe I've overkilled it a little bit with the, with the staff over here at cardiology. So that's, that's an interesting one. I've overkilled it a little bit with that. So we've got these massive wards. And I don't know if the regular massive wards are really required. It doesn't seem like we need more than, say, 10 beds or something like that. So what we could do is we could move this a little bit differently at some point. Let's see, there's another patient coming in here. So we need to worry just a little bit about getting too many things up and running. So you're 100% that that's the case, huh? You're not even going to do any other things. I don't know whether you're really being careful if that is the case, huh? Uh, so let's keep a little bit of track over there. Can we get some of those other... Uh, okay, seems like you're doing a few things there. Photophobia. So much happening. Straight away, anything else? Nine hidden symptoms though. I hope you're actually going to get some more of those checked out. Some big symptoms here that we need to uncover before... Uh, straight away, you're passing them along to the other departments. Well, hopefully they feel a little bit more attended if we're getting more patients here. Let's have a look. Patient coming in. Come on, guys. Rush straight away. Have a look what's going on. Wow, lots of ambulances in and out and everywhere. Doing some things over here. Finding some more symptoms. Oh, hypertension. I think that's the biggest one that we've actually found there. Action. So that's been treated straight away. Perfect. So how does a stroke... Okay, so there's some IV, IV TPA things that we do for solving that. Perfect. Okay, well, guys, I think that's what I'm going to leave this episode. Things are going very well at this hospital. We are seeing a much better cash flow now. We've solved our, all of our debt problems. I don't think we have any major issues with um, any major issues with anything else. So now ICU is up and running. Everything is working. The radiology department is working well. We've got room for one other extra facility over here. Um, I'm hoping we get the emergency department nice and clean with our extra staff members. But yeah, it stretches everywhere now. So I think everything is happening a little bit quicker. Um, we've done our first emergency and that was quite successful. Well, we, we needed to we needed to tweak our operation as we went to make sure that we can get all of that done. Uh, patients got diagnosed incorrectly, so let's make sure to um, allow that patient to get better treatment this time around. Excellent. And yeah, so what we'll do in the next few episodes, we'll try and run through some, some of the other um, emergencies and see how, how, we, how good we could get at it. Um, we also need to treat 80 patients um, by the end of the day to finalize some of these things, right? I'm guessing there's a few more that we're going to get going here. 80 patients, 90 patients and 100 patients I'm getting. I'm guessing is what, what's going to be the case. There's one more objective here in cardiology that we also need to tweak. And then we can also buy a few more ambulances as well. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.